Hi, I'm Martin Taylor. Now, I want to show you a video of me in rehearsal with a big band and uh, a full orchestra uh, under the direction of Guy Barker. Now, this was this was filmed on. I just had my I just had my phone uh, and I just sat it on the on the music stand uh, because I wanted a little bit of a, a reference for when we played the concert that evening. Now this arrangement came about because um, I had a group called Spirit of Django uh, way back, sort of early early 90s, and this was a, this was a kind of an arrangement that I'd uh, come up with uh, based on uh, when I used to play this with with Stefan Grappelli, of course, and uh, decided I used to play this with my group Spirit of Django, and we wanted to expand it for this massive. <laughs> event this uh, orchestral event so because I don't read music very well um, I can read music a little bit I can read music I can play the guitar but I can't do the two at the same time <laughs> boom boom so uh, what I like to do is just to really get everything in my mind um, and, and and kind of memorize everything and just make a few notes so what I did what you're what you're seeing me do here is I'm playing along with the orchestra I've got some guidelines. I'm not reading any music or anything. I've got the guidelines, and I'm kind of listening to um, what Guy's written for the orchestra and seeing where I can fit in um, w with this. So um, we're going to start off. Here we go. We're going to start off with a beautiful, lush orchestral introduction. So I'm getting ready now because I'm, I'm just about to come in with the melody. Now I'm in interpreting this this melody. It's a tune I played so many times over the years. Used to play with with um, Stefan Grappelli when I was sitting in Django Reinhardt's chair for 11 years, and uh, we used to play it. And I, I played it in so many different ways. Django himself recorded it either seven or nine times, I believe, in his life. And if he'd have lived longer, would have recorded many other versions. Always a little different. So this was one particular moment in time of, of me playing it with, with this orchestra. So I'm interpreting the melody, I'm keeping the essence of the melody, but I'm adding some flurries. See all these, you hear all these, these fast flurries that I'm playing? That's because I want to add a little bit of tension to it. Because it's such a, such a pretty melody. But just add a little bit of, bit of tension there and then have that tension and then release. Come back to that beautiful melody. I'm playing some little inflections here and there, you know, on, on the strings, just gets little, little bits of vibrato. That kind of vibrato that Django played, I really got that from listening to Stefan uh, when we when we worked together. Um, it's a very different vibrato, say, from uh, a rock guitar player or a blues guitar player. It's more connected to the vibrato that a violinist gets. So very often you'll, you'll play the note straight, and then you'll just do a little bit of a bit of vibrato on the end. The way. A, a violinist uh, would do that. It's a very different kind of kind of vibrato. And because the guitar, the acoustic guitar, is not, uh, the, the notes don't hold on. So we have to find ways of getting those notes to extend. So like hitting them a few times, putting a little bit of energy into the string by because when you when you put vibrato, that's that's getting the string to move, and so that will hold the note on uh, hold the note on longer. One version that Django recorded, he did a chromatic run from bottom E right the way up to B at the top. And so you'll, in a moment, you'll hear me doing this. A little bit of, little bit of an orchestral thing. I'm playing some little octaves here and there with the orchestra. Now get ready for it. I'm getting ready for this. I'm probably panicking. Will, will I do it? Will I make it? Or will I not make it? So here we go, here's a chromatic run. Fingers crossed. Spot on. <laughs> I made it. I don't know whether I made it on the, the, that evening on the gig, but certainly in the rehearsal it was good. Uh, 
a little bit of uh, the trial and error and the thing about it's not an exact science when you're playing playing something like that and co coordinating the the the, the finger the, the picking and moving the fingers in that that kind of kind of way it's as i say it's not an exact science <sighs> a little bit of luck involved in that more fast flurries coming back to the melody giving it some energy now because you can hear the orchestra I'm playing that giving it a little bit more a bit more welly And then we come back. The orchestra comes in with this lovely orchestral harmonic thing. And it comes to its conclusion. It's a beautiful thing. I was going to ask one thing.